Hello and welcome back. This is Stephen Bugs Coins and welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at an animal coin hunt and I've de designated it Coin Hunt Animal Coin Hunt 2021. This first coin is from Spain. It's from 1997 and it's the Bolter Rocks and the countryside around there. On the obverse and then on the reverse we have the Ayesha Balacan horses. The mintage for this coin from 1997 is 709 million and 6,000. Wow, that's some mintage. This second coin is five fills from the UAE and it is one of the FAO coins or the um, the UN uh, Food and Agricultural Organization coin. It has a fish on it and it was minted to help um, bring people use, uh, into the food and agriculture and to what they would get normally, uh, you know, what they would find. Our next coin is from Canada. We have a picture of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse. It's from 2006 and it has a caribou, the name of Canada on the back and also the 25 cents. The mintage for this coin is 423,189,000. This next one is a little bit different from the normal coins. This one shows very much a French looking coin with the lady's head on it. I think it may well be Marianne. And, however, it is not a French coin. It is actually a coin from French Polynesia. And the reason that we have it this coin in Animal Coin Hunt is this mask that it shows is actually a cat mask, a tribal cat mask. The mintage for this 2014 coin from French Polynesia is 1,220,000. Right, the next one is King Olaf the fifth from Norway. It's from 1970, it's a one kroner coin. The mintage on it is 8,637,900. The reverse of the coin shows a horse in full flight. The next one is a coin that we see a reasonable amount on this channel and this is the Bergesi, Bergesi the Giants coin from Iceland. It's one kroner, it's dated 2011. On the back or on the reverse is a one kroner designation for the, what the coin is and then a cod. This 2011 coin had a mintage of 5 million. As here's one we don't see very often on these hunts. It's a 20p from the Falkland Islands. It has the Queen's portrait on the front, on the obverse, and the reverse shows the sheep, which is the emblem of the Falkland Islands. I have no mintage figures for this particular coin from 2004. I uh, I don't know whether the mintage mintage figures have been released or not. I've not been able to find them anyway. So next we go to Italy. No, we don't. That's not Italian. That's the Italian one. It is an alloy coin, and on the one side it shows a rudder. On the other side. It's from 1953, it's a 5 lira coin, it's from 1953 as I said. It has a dolphin and the value in the year. The mintage for this coin is 
Next coin is a South African five cent, which is a blue coin. And what's that one? I've got two of them together. Both of them are five cent coins, I believe, and both show the blue crane. And on the other side is a South African coat of arms. The two of them together, the 1998 one is a mintage of 88 million. The 2018 one has a mintage of 45 million. 510. The next coin is our favourite coin from Hungary. It is a five forint. On the reverse is a blue crane. The mintage for this 2007 coin is 33 million and 8,000. Next we have a South African two cent. South African two cents. It has the portrait of Van Van Nieskan, I think it is, or Van Ischen. Then on the back we have a wildebeest. Going out, it's a 1965 coin. The mintage is 29,887,000. Next coin Here we have a coin from Trinidad and Tobago. We have the coat of arms on the front here. And on the back of this five cent coin we have a bird of paradise. It's known as the greater bird of paradise. Of this 1995 coin we have no mintage available. Next one is Ireland. Oh, no, it's not. It's that, it's that one there. Made a mistake. It's this one here. It's a South African one cent. It's from 1995. The vintage of it is 257 million. 1995 it's one cent and it shows two Cape Sparrows. We now come on to the Irish one. We have the Irish harp there with the year of 1971. It's one pence. This was before they went into the Euro. And the one pence had a very much had a stylized bird from the book of Kells. Now this book of Kells is very um, very sought after. It's it's one of their highly possessed books and highly prized books of antiquity. Um, the mintage on this coin is just fifty thousand. Next, we have. Hmm, I thought I had a, a, a South African five cent, but I can't find it. I do have a five foreign that I found extra, which has the blue crane on me, but that's another, another thing entirely. So we can't find that, so we go on to a Maltese coin. So one cent from 1994. It is a common mintage, so we have no mintage figures for it, but the animal on it is a weasel. The next coin is from the UAE. We have the coat of arms for the UAE there. It is 10 fills and it has on it an onyx antelope type of thing there. So that's that one. No mintage figures are available. 
Next we have a Latvian coin which is a one letfast, I think it's or centas, is it? One centas coin. You have the one centas on that side, and on this side we have a man on horseback. It's a 1991 coin. There's no mint available. It is an alloy coin. And this last one is from Austria. And it's a 10 groschen coin. On this side we have an eagle. A single eagle, single headed eagle. It's from 1986. So a mintage of 108,912,000. And on the reverse, we just have the 10 groschens of the valuation. So that ends this coin hunt. As with a lot of the coin hunts at this moment in time, I'm putting them back into bags until I'm ready to sort them out into flips and put them into my collection fully and then I'll put them onto you mister. So I'm in I'm trying to grow my channel this year so I am looking for likes and also people to subscribe to the channel. If you have enjoyed this video please give me a like. If you are in if you're happy and you want to please subscribe i'd love to have you along for the rest of my journeys with coins and banknotes etc if you're having a hunt i hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for if you are buying coins i hope you get the coins you want for the price you want to pay i do do four videos a week so hopefully you will find something that you enjoy watching and until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope will be not too far into the distant future, from me, Tarana, bye bye.